Well, satellite images obtained by the Times of Israel on Saturday show damage at a Syrian weapons base in the northwestern city of Masyaf after an airstrike on Thursday. That has been attributed to Israel. The area is thought to be used as a base for Iranian forces and pro-Iranian militias and has been repeatedly been the target in recent years of other attacks also widely attributed to Israel. The images taken by Planet Labs PBC and provided by Aurora Intel show that some buildings at the scientific studies and research center on the base were completely destroyed. Western officials and media reports have long associated the facility with the production of precision surface-to-surface -surface missiles, including the process of casting solid rocket motors as well as chemical weapons. The United States says sarin gas was also developed at that center, but that is a claim denied by Syrian authorities. Well, earlier, I spoke to Olivier Rafovich, a senior security and military consultant on all of this. Let's take a listen. First of all, I would like to stress that we don't know uh, who is behind the attack, but what is clear, it is a significant strategic strike against the uh, Iranian and uh, pro-Iranian interest on Syrian soil. But the most important point in this strike, if it is Israel or not, we don't know yet. But in any case, it was possible because the uh, S-300 uh, anti-aircraft missile from uh, Russia uh, were actually put off from the site. So it was possible to attack and to destroy around, according to some assessment, around 1,000 missiles and other a very important weaponry belonging to uh, Iran or for Iranian uh, militias. All of this happening also in the wake of the Iranian nuclear deal. United States and Iranian negotiators, reports coming out of Vienna saying that each side, they're inching closer to a deal. Um, but do we think that the Iranians will view these strikes and perhaps change their minds or the terms of the deal or even come to the table for a deal? There is no any, any connection between the uh, nuclear deal or not, if it will be signed or not, and the fact that for Israel and for the allies of Israel, it is totally impossible, unbearable, to accept that the Iranian uh, militias or the uh, uh, GRI will, uh, will uh, get stronger and stronger on the Syrian soil. So such a strike is a real decisive and deterrent act in order to prevent Iran to, uh, I would say, to settle down on the Syrian soil with or without any uh, nuclear deal uh, in the in the back